So we're going to start standing today. So find a comfortable place for your feet so you don't have to be too stiff to start with. We just want to arrive in our body. Maybe arrive on your mat or arrive in the space. And so just for a moment, close your eyes if that's comfortable. So I always say if eyes closed is not comfortable. And for me, it was one of the most difficult things to do when I started yoga was closing my eyes. And then listen to the things outside of the room you're in. So maybe you're very enclosed, you close all the windows, you don't really hear anything, but see if you can focus really on the noises outside of the room you're in, but without naming them, just, it's just a sound outside. And definitely with the online, that can be also the sound that you hear to my voice through the place where I am. And then slowly bring your attention to the sounds within the room that you're in. And then very slowly this time bring the attention to what's happening within. So maybe you don't really hear the sound, but you feel your heart beating. Maybe you feel the breath coming in and out, your nostrils. Maybe with your eyes closed, you're swaying a little bit. So maybe that gives a sensation. So really going within. And then very slowly, let's open the eyes. <laughs> let's separate the feet a little bit wider if they were not that wide. Bring the arms alongside the body. And this time lifting the chest, so lifting the chest bone, shoulder are going back and shoulder blades are going down. So it gives you the impression that your arms are actually pulling a little bit lower. As you do this, as you lift your chest, you should feel your core getting active. So at least get some sensation. Maybe you don't feel the abdominals, but you get some sensation because you're stretching out the front of your body. And then let's inhale, deep inhale, long, long, long. Turning the palms out and then long exhale. And I'm gonna leave you the choice to exhale through the mouth or exhale through the nose. Inhaling, so we're gonna do this three more times. And stretch out every time you inhale and then keeping the length every time you exhale. And then maybe slowly you're starting to engage your legs, pressing the feet a little bit more into the floor. And exhaling down. Let's inhale, reach the right hand up. Extend your right arm. Extend your right arm, so not folding to the side for the moment, really just extend. And then reach your right arm forward, and then pull the shoulder back, the shoulder blade down. Reach the right arm forward, again, the shoulder will come forward. Don't give it a whole twist, just work with your shoulder. Exhale, shoulder blade down. And then inhale, reach your arm up, keep the shoulder blade down. And now exhale, go over to the side. Inhale, come up a little bit, find length again, and exhale, come over to the side. One more time. Inhale, a little bit more length, and exhale, come over to the side. And now from here, let's reach for the left corner. So with your right arm, you're going to reach for the left corner. Bend forward but from your hip crease. So you don't need to go too far, you want to stretch out, reaching the hand away from you. And then exhale again, bring the shoulder blade back. So it's a different move, a different feeling here, the same move, but we're opening on the side. And then coming back, shoulder blade back in, inhaling back up. And then exhale, bring the arm down. Inhale, deep breath in, and long breath out. 
Inhale, reach the left arm up. And then again, see if you can find that length. So from your feet, all the way up, reaching up. Finding length, finding length. Bring the shoulder blade down. And then reach your arm forward. Reach your hand away from you. And then exhale, bring the hand and the shoulder blade back. One more time, inhaling forward, exhaling back, inhaling, reaching up, creating space, exhaling, going over, inhaling, exhaling. So really finding space within your body, inhaling, exhaling, and now bending forward, going to the left, to the right corner, reaching forward with your left hand, inhale, and then exhale, bring your shoulder blade back, inhale one more time, exhale, and then slowly coming back up, and exhale, let's bring the hands onto the shoulders, bring the elbows to the sides, and then open up, so this time kissing the shoulder blades together, and then from here, see if you can bring the elbows down, keeping the shoulder blades together. So your chest is really wide open. Elbows pointing down. Inhale, reach your elbows up. And now bring the elbows together, opening the back. So shoulder blades separate. Keep the elbows at the height of the shoulders. Reach your elbows up. Your hands are on your shoulders, so feel how the shoulders are moving. And again, open up your elbows, bring those shoulder blades back together, and then down, keep them together, and then bring forward. So one more time, let's move this direction, up, back, down, and release. So you should feel an opening in your chest already, maybe a little work in your shoulders, and placing the hands onto the hips, slightly bend your knees, just to have a little bit more stability. <clears throat> and then start to move your hips, so go gently if you haven't moved too much this morning. So moving gently with the hips, and changing direction. And if you feel that at a certain moment you, you kind of stop because it's not comfortable, Stop. Don't, don't jump out of it unless it's really too much pain. But if you stop, take a breath in and then continue. And then coming back to center. Bring the feet a little bit closer, still a very stable position. Bending the knees, placing the heel of the hands just above the knees, fingers down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, curve the spine. So curving the spine, tailbone goes up. Looking up, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, bring the tailbone down, bring the belly button up, press into your legs. So don't push onto your knees, but just about elbows can go wide, chin to chest. And inhale, let's do this two more times. So really going with that same long breath as we were doing in the beginning, to connect with our body. And last time, inhaling and exhaling. And then press into your feet and then again, reaching the arms up. And from here, turn towards the right, bend your knees slightly and open your arms to the side. See if you can keep your knees together, don't force it. But we want to get to that twist in the spine, not so much in the hips. So Inhale, opening up, and exhaling. Inhale, opening up, and exhaling. Inhale, exhale. And then inhale, reaching up, and exhale down. Placing the hands onto the hips, separate the feet slightly. We got Put the weight onto the left leg. So make sure you're mountain pose before you start and then bring the weight to the left leg. Reach 
your right knee up at the height of your hip, flex your right foot. And then start to slowly open up your right knee towards the right. So opening up the hips. If you need a bit more stability, you can bend your supporting leg. Otherwise, really find that length into your whole body. And then slowly coming back, take your left hand, place it on your right thigh, and bring that right thigh in to your body. So your foot is still flexed, and then coming back to center. Keep the knee here, start to lengthen out your leg. See if you can bring the leg a little bit higher, and then very slowly, keep your hands onto your hips. You're gonna swing your leg back, keeping that straight line from the crown of the head to the heel. You can always bend your supporting leg a little bit for more stability. Keep the neck in line with the spine. And then slowly coming back. If you want to release the arms for a moment, finding your step again, your mountain pose. Take a breath in and a breath out. Placing the hands onto the hips, lift the left knee up, flex the left foot. It's really important to flex the foot, otherwise it's a weight. And then gently start to open the left knee towards the left. Strong supporting leg. If you need a bit more stability, but you're going to have to work your muscles a little bit more if you bend your knee. And slowly coming back. Right hand on the left thigh and bring the thigh in. Coming back to center, hands on the hips, stretch your left leg out and then very gently swing it through, swing it all the way through the back. Keep that straight line. So you don't have to be very high, just keep the straight line. And then slowly coming back and release. So this time let's come at the front of the mat. <clears throat> come into your mountain pose. Release your arms alongside your body. From the feet, from the heels, all the way to the crown of the head. You find that length. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's bring the hands in the back. So when we do it from here, our shoulders are probably going to be popping forward. So bend your elbows, interlace the hands, roll the shoulders back. Again, shoulder blades are kissing. Watch out for your floating ribs. So bring the tailbone down and then lengthen out your arms. If you can't reach your hands together, you can always grab the forearms or the elbows. So inhale, exhale. And then take a step back with your left foot. Find your stability. So you're not on one track. You're on two rails here. Your back foot is pointing a little bit out for a little bit more stability. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen. So really pull your arms down, your hands down. And then from the hip crease, so keeping the hips nice parallel with the front of the mat folding forward. Go gradually. So press your feet down, maybe lift your kneecaps. Exhale. Inhale, long spine. Exhale. Inhale, long spine. Exhale. So you have to be able to still move even if it looks a static pose. Your breath is going to guide you. So watch out with the back hip, the right hip in my case. So you want to make sure it's parallel with the front of the mat. Inhale, keeping the shoulders back, arms long. And then slowly coming up, release your hands and change sides. So I'm just going to turn to the other side. <clears throat> so taking a, breath, a deep breath in, a long breath out, coming to your Tadasana.
Interlace your hands, so interlace them in a different way. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen your arms and step your left foot back. So make sure that your chest is wide open. We're gonna breathe especially into the chest to create a little bit more space there. Strong legs, strong feet. Inhale, and then start to fold forward. Left hip, push it a little bit more forward so that the hips remain parallel with the front of the mat. Inhale, exhale. And slowly press into your feet and come back up and shake it out. So shake out your legs, shake out, shake out your arms. <clears throat> Stand again comfortably. Bring your hands behind your head. Open your elbows, open your armpits. So your hands are where skull and cervical spine touch, interlacing the hands in the back. Lengthen your neck, so chin goes slightly towards the chest, so but you really want to lengthen your neck. And then just gently with your hands, press your chin even lower. So don't roll your shoulders forward, don't bring your elbows forward. Keep that all very open so we can really reach that opening in the top of our spine, in our neck. You can even pull the skin of your skull forward to get a little bit more length. And then inhale, come back up. And this time we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna bring the elbows together. So pull the skin of your skull forward. And observe maybe different sensations here, different places where it's stretching, where space is created. And then coming back up, keeping the hands there. We're just gonna, um, Turn towards the left, so your left elbows goes to the side. So this is gonna be a side stretch, same as when we had the arm up, except that with the elbows here, we are gonna reach a little bit more into the rib cage. So see if you can keep your waist as static as possible. Open your elbows again, and then go to the side. Maybe you feel a little bit of space created between the ribs. So the focus is really there. And then coming back to center and then going to the other side. And then coming back to center and then release. So let's come to the front of the mat if you're not there. Stand into your mountain pose. Take a breath in, reach your arms up and then press your hips back. So you should be able to see your toes, lift your toes, reach back. If your arms here are not comfortable, you can bring them a little bit more forward, but roll the shoulders back and you can keep them on your hips, whatever is comfortable. Inhale, exhale, sit back. Activate the legs here, activate the core. Don't fall into the back. So you wanna keep your spine neutral. You want the core to support you here. So it's always a balance between the uh, abdominals and the back muscles. They have to work together. One more breath in and then exhale, fold forward. So see if you can stretch out your legs here. If your hands come off the floor, that's fine. We're gonna grab then the opposite elbows, drop your head, keep your legs straight. Try not to fall back. So we're gonna bring a little bit more weight onto the toes. Your head is heavy, your upper body is heavy, and every exhale may release a little bit more from the hips. If you feel like moving from side to side, you go ahead, whatever your body needs here. Two more breaths in this position. Forward fold, Uttanasana. And Place your hands down, bend your knees if you need to. Bring your right leg back, right knee on the floor. Lengthen your spine. So from here, lengthen your spine. And just that might give you enough of a stretch. If you want a little bit more, come up. 
Place your hand onto your thigh and exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, release. So just letting go, letting gravity play, opening the front of your thigh. And then release your hands down. Walk your left foot towards the left. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn around so you can see what's happening. Walk your left foot towards the left. Place your left hand on your left thigh. And then open the left hip. So the inside of your left foot is going to lift. Strong supporting arm here, long spine. We're just trying to reach the hip joint here. So opening to the side and then coming back to center. Placing both hands down so the left foot is still a little bit outside. If you want to lift your back knee, you can. Still going for that stretch in the inner thigh. Maybe you feel it also in your right groin. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can bend your elbows. But bend your el elbows back, reach your heart forward. And then slowly come back up. If your knee is lifted, bring the knee down. And then from here, let me get back to the side. From here, walk your hands back. And then walk your hands forward. So we're gonna, a few times, just move here. Lubricate the hip joint. So go slowly at your own rhythm. And every time you reach back, see if you can lengthen that left leg a little bit more. We're gonna start to lift the toes now. And do the same, come forward, place the toes down. As you go back, you lift your toes towards the, are pointing towards you. And then maybe we're gonna stay here, stretch out the legs. So again, hamstrings, maybe calf muscles. Maybe you feel it in your little toe. See if you can keep your spine straight. And then slowly coming back to center, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and then hop your right foot forward. This time, bring your hands up to your thighs, roll the shoulders back, lengthen your upper body, reach your heart forward. Taking a few breaths here. And then slowly release. So placing the hands down. This time the left leg goes back, left knee on the floor. So if this is enough for you, you can keep your hands on the floor or you can go a little bit higher. If you want to add some movement with your arm, please feel free. But the focus is really on opening the left thigh here. So I'd rather focus on one thing. <clears throat> There's enough uh, asanas, poses where the whole body, we have to think about so many things. So let's just here release, like create some space in our groin area. And then release, bring the right foot out this time, right hand on your thigh, opening towards the right. So inside of your right foot is lifting, the spine is long, Strong supporting hands and see if you can still release. And then slowly coming back, placing both hands down. If you want, you can lift your back knee. If you want, you can bend your elbows, but bend it back so that you're, you're not collapsing in your chest. You want to keep the chest and the spine long. Inhale, exhale. And then slowly bring that knee back down, bring the right foot back to the center. And then going back a few times, back and forward. So first with the foot flat on the floor. 
And then starting to lift the toes, going back a little bit more, stretching out the right leg, and then coming forward. One more time. Stretch it out. And then coming back forward. This time we're gonna bring the right foot back and come onto all fours. So wrist underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're gonna to start to make circles with our hips and move, if the wrists allow it, we're gonna move in front of our hands with our chest. And then going to the side and really going to the back. So going to the front, strong arms, weight is distributed over your fingers and the palms, so you don't want to put all the weight onto your wrist, onto the heel of the head and then changing direction. And then coming back to center, wrist underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, taking a breath in. And as you exhale, bring the tailbone down, the belly button up, chin to chest, press into your hands, round your spine. Stay here for one breath. So inhale and then exhale, push a little bit more. And then inhale, lift your tailbone, drop your belly, roll the shoulders back. Open the chest, look forward. So long neck here, don't compress your neck. It's not out of the ceiling. It's I want to find comfort in my neck. So stay here, one breath. And I'll go at the rhythm of your breath for four more cat and cows. Make sure you go to the end of the movement. So go as long as your breath is taking you to move. And after the next exhale, coming back to your neutral spine. Bring the forearms on the floor, elbows underneath the shoulders, touch your toes, press into your forearms. So you want to really bring the weight as much as possible into your forearm. And then as if you want to pull your mat forward with your forearm, we're going to start to lift the hips and bring the head in between your arms. So opening the shoulders, press your hips away from your head. You really want to find a long spine here. If you want to stretch out your legs, go for it. But again, the focus here is on opening the shoulders. Inhale, exhale. And then release. And then for a moment, coming to your child's pose. So you can bring the knees together or separate. Bring the arms in the back. And hold on to your feet or next, your hands next to your feet. Make sure your palms are facing up so that your shoulders can drop down and relax. And then take some deep breaths. Feel the back of your lungs. The back ribs really expanding. And then we, uh, place your hands onto your feet. So you're going to grab your, and your heel. Your fingers are pointing on the inside. Your thumbs are pointing on the outside. Bring your head as close as possible to your knees. So your knees have to be together here. So if it's not the crown of your head that's on the floor, it's going to be close to the crown of the head. And then we're going to start to lift our bum. Hold on to your feet, so maybe we're going to reach the crown of your head and opening the upper back. And slowly coming back. Roll the shoulders back as you're coming up. 
Coming onto our knees. You can tuck your toes here. So finding stability. Make sure your little toe is also there to give your full stability. Roll the shoulders back over the chest. So same as we did totally in the beginning, is that lifting of the chest bone, of the sternum, up, shoulders go slightly back, shoulder blades go down. It's already a slight back bend. Press your hips gently forward. So as you do that, maybe your body is going to get active to create that balance. And then for a moment, inhale. See if you can reach a little bit higher with your chest. So very slowly, with your hands onto your bum, your fingers pointing down, press the heel of your hands down so that you're helping or giving the indication to your lower back that it has to create space. And then from here, just the upper spine is going to start to curve back. And then maybe you're going to add the middle spine. Pressing the hips forward. Maybe you're going to add the lower back. You can keep on looking forward. You can look up to the ceiling. I wouldn't suggest to drop your head back. Inhale, exhale. Maybe you feel a stretch into your quadriceps. Inhale, exhale. And then very slowly coming back. Untuck your toes. Release your hands and sit onto your heels. So if that's not comfortable, place a pillow or a blanket between your calf muscles and your thighs so that you can sit a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale. Let's walk our hands forward, <clears throat> separate the fingers, tuck the toes, and come into a plank. We're going to come into a plank just to define the distance for our downward dog. So in your plank, your shoulders are above your wrists. Press your heels back. Tailbone goes towards your heels and then press into your hands. So that's the right distance for your downward dog. And then you can bend your knees slightly, press into your hands, and lift yourself up towards your downward dog. So head comes in between your arms. Roll the shoulders out. Lift your hips. Keep your knees bent for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. And then gently start to walk your dog. Your dog, just one. As fast or as slow as you need but allow your body to feel what you're doing. So sometimes when you go too fast, you don't feel exactly what's happening. It might feel good, like running or sprinting might feel really, really good. And after that, when we stop, we feel our body here. So it's your choice. What do you want to do? Do you want to sprint? Or do you just want to have a leisurely walk with your dog? observing the moment and then bend both your knees lift your hips up so your belly button goes in here so you can find a little bit more length and then exhale lengthen both your legs unless your lower back is starting to run then you'll notice by the position of your belly button so if your lower back starts to run then you're gonna bend your knees keeping the knees bent and as you practice this regularly Eventually, your hamstrings will be long enough to lengthen out the legs. Take a breath in and a breath out. And inhale, come back into plank. Bring the left knee down. So, in the same line as your left hand, bring the left foot out. And then bring the right foot flat on the floor, all in the same line. So, I'm on the edge of my mat here. And then reach your right arm up. Press your hips forward. So if this is too much weight into your left hand, you can come onto your forearm. It's not making it easier if you uh, do a side plank with the knee and on the forearm, you're going to be a little bit more than. So press your hips forward and if you want, lift your right leg up, toes pointing forward. Lots of work here, so here the whole body is working. Thank <laughs> you.
and an exhale, release. Come back into your plank. Slightly bend your knees and press yourself up into your downward dog. So find your downward dog again. Adjust whatever you need to adjust. Make sure your upper back is wide. So roll the shoulders out. Press your tongue and your index into the floor. Inhale, exhale. So feel the energy from your hands, your fingertips going all the way up to your hips as you inhale. And as you exhale from the hips all the way to your heels. Next inhale, let's come back into plank. Bring the right knee down. This time, right foot out, left foot flat on the floor in line with your right knee, right hand. And then start to press your hips forward and reach your left arm up. So feel that length between your right and your left hands. Feel the length in your whole body. Feel your hips moving forward. And if you're okay, you can lift your left leg up, toes pointing forward. And slowly bring the left foot down. Bring the hand down. <clears throat> and come back to center this time. Knees together, child's pose to release a little bit into your wrists. So deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And then reach your hands forward, come back to the front and let's come back to our plank. <clears throat> From here, bring the knees down. So we are a plank on our knees. So we don't, you don't want to have the knees too close or too far. You want to find that plank on your knees. And then roll the eye of the elbows to the front. And with the core being very active, so it's not just collapsing into the pose, we're going to bring our elbows back, bending the elbows and slowly coming all the way down. Keeping the hands where they are. Roll the shoulders back. Elbows are pointing back and are very close to your chest. Look down. So really make it a point to keep the neck in line with your spine. And then inhale, start to lift up. Exhale down. So purely the lower back. Don't press into your hands. You can keep them there. You can lift them if you want. So strengthening that lower back. One more time. Inhale. And now stay here. If you want to go a little bit higher, your hands remain here, but you're going to pull the mat back with your hands. Your elbows are reaching back, and we're going to go a little bit higher. Really depends on the flexibility of the spine. Roll the shoulders back over the chest, and exhale, come down. Bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, the palms are flat onto the floor. So you really want to keep that straight line and you don't want to uh, have your elbows go out. So from here, again, we're going to pull the mat back with our forearms and then reach our heart forward, roll the shoulders back, finding a little bit of space in the lower back. So the lower back is very relaxed now. So if you can just let the lower back sink and we're going to Open up, create a bit of space here. And then gently release. Make a pillow with your hands. We're going to place our chin or the forehead, whatever is more comfortable for you. And then bend your right knee and grab your right foot or your right ankle or your pants with your right hand. So just holding there for a moment, maybe that stretch is enough for you, if you want. So your heel is touching your bum, if you want, lift your right thigh up, press your hips down. So we can sometimes go very high, but then we're so curved in the spine. So we really want to go and reach that stretch in the front of our right thigh. And then release, and bring it down. And then changing sides, so 
Lift, uh, bend the left knee, grab the left foot. Maybe this stretch is already enough. If you want to keep your time on the floor, really make sure you press the hips down. If you want to lift, keep on pressing the head down. Reach your heel towards your bum. And then gently release. Letting go. So again, your pillow with your hands, find, find some comfort here. So whatever that is for you, bending the knees. And then bring the, knee, the feet over to the right. And let's just stay here for a moment. Just let gravity again create that twist in our spine. Inhale, let it go. This should feel comfortable. So if it's not, you can come back to center or you make it uh, a moving uh, asana and then coming back to center and then going to the other side. So a couple of breaths here. And then coming back to center. And now gently going from side to side. So if your lower back is annoying you, go lay down on your belly and do this movement a couple of times. And then coming back to center, flex your feet and then point your feet. Flex your feet and then point the feet outward. Push, push the heels into each other. Point the, the toes out. And then point the toes up and then release your legs. <clears throat> Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Touch your toes, roll the shoulders back and press yourself up into your downward dog. So finding the downward dog again, giving your lower back Back in space, we've been doing a few back bends, gentle back bends, but still. And then lift your right leg up. So you want to press the heel away. You want to keep equal weight into both your hands. And then lift the leg a little bit higher. Bend your knee and then open up your hips. So opening up, stacking the hips on top of each other. If you want, you can look under your right hand, your right arm, your right armpit, opening up equal weight into both your arms. Your left leg is long, maybe your heel is reaching the floor now. And then exhale, reach the leg up again, and then bring the right foot down. This time, the left leg goes up, bend the knee, and open up. You can look under your left arm. If you want to see where your foot is, you look under your right arm. Opening up, press your heel down, your right heel, equal weight into both your hands. Inhale, exhale. And then reach your left leg up again, stretch it out, and then exhale, bring your foot down. This time, bring both your knees down. And we're going to turn and sit on the floor. So if you need something to sit on, grab it. You just sit a little bit high. We're going to do one twist here. So I'm just going to roll up my mat, sit on the edge of that little roll, and tilt my hips so I can have a really straight spine. Bring the right foot in and keep it on the inside of your leg. So we're not going to bring it over. We're going to keep it on the inside of the leg. Hold on to your knee. So give your knee a big hug, lengthen your spine. Now bring the left arm around. So wrap your left arm around your right knee. Reach your right hand up. So you might have to play a little bit with your left hand. And then as you exhale, open up towards the right, and twist, press your right hand into the floor, lower your right shoulder, and maybe you need to adjust your hugging knee again. So finding legs, opening up, you can look to the back if you want to create a little twist into your spine. Okay. 
Make sure your left leg is active. Didn't lift for the weekend yet. So every time you create a little bit more length. And then slowly coming back. Extend your right leg. Sit straight. And then bring the left foot in. So you want to bring it as close as you can to your groin area. And then you hug your knee to create a little bit more length into your spine. So hugging the knee with the right arm, reaching the left up, and then as you exhale, rotate back. Adjust your right arm around your left knee. Inhale, lower your left shoulder, lower your left hand, press up so that you can create a little bit more space into your spine. And then with your next exhale, coming back to center. As soon as you come back, create that length so your spine can realign and then extend your feet. If you're sitting on something, take it away. <clears throat> Bend your knees, come a little bit more forward onto your mat. Place the feet and the knees as wide as your hips. Roll the shoulders back and then let's Tilt back a little bit, but with a straight spine. So again, that chest bone is reaching up. The shoulders are coming down, lengthening the spine. Inhale, exhale. Maybe lift your left foot. Maybe lift your right foot. Maybe release your hands. But you want to make sure that your lower back remains neutral. And place your feet back down. Placing the hands. Um, next to you, walk your hands back until you're on your forearms and then stretch out your legs. Roll the shoulders back, press into your elbow. We're not going into full fish pose, we're just going to find an alternative here to open the chest again. So roll the shoulders back, find space into your chest, and you can press into your bum, you can push your pubic bone towards your toes. And if comfortable here, you can drop your head back. Otherwise, just keep looking forward or keep looking up. It's a lot of work in the neck, so don't stay here too long. And then slowly bring the pubic bone towards your face. So you're rolling back and then rolling back. Legs are long. We're going to place our palms underneath our bum. The palms are facing down. So the hands underneath our bum, the palms facing down. Long legs, neutral spine. And we're going to lift the right leg up as we inhale. And then as we exhale, we bring the right leg back down. So really making the movement in the moment. Because very often what happens, we're going to swing the leg up and drop it down. So inhale, lift the left leg up very slowly with your breath, and exhale, bring it down. Back to the right, inhale, so move at the rhythm of your own breath, exhale, inhale, exhale, and now both legs, if that's okay for you, Watch out for your lower back. We don't want to move the lower back. So it's not a pressing of the lower back into the floor. We want to keep the lower back neutral. And then very slowly coming all the way down, except hovering, and then we bring it back up. So just don't touch the floor. One more time. And then exhale this time very slowly, bring the legs all the way down. Take your hands away underneath your bum and then bring your right knee in. Place your hands below your knee, take a deep breath in, belly breath, and then exhale, bring the knee as close as you can towards your chest. Place your right hand on your right knee, your left hand on your left hip bone, 
and then start to open up. So we're really high here. Usually we do the opening from uh, knee and hip at the, at the same height, but here we're really, really high. And we're just gonna open up, probably not as far. Flex your right foot, flex your left foot. Everything is active here. And then take a deep breath in and see if you can let it go a little bit into that right hip. And then very slowly, moving the knee away from your shoulders, but keeping the hip open. And observe sensations, observe opening, observe also what happens in the left side of your body. Foot is still flexed. And then slowly bring that knee back to center and extend your leg. So as we extend the leg, we want to press the heel away from us. And then bring the left knee in. Hands below the knee. Take a belly breath. And then exhale, bring the knee in as close as possible. So the knee is going to point towards your chest or your shoulder or maybe outside. It depends how your hip socket and your femur are fitting into each other. So left hand on your left knee. The knee is very high into your chest or at the height of your chest. Right hand on your right hip bone. And then start to open up to the sides. So we're exploring the range of our hip here. And then slowly bring the knee a little bit more towards your hip at the height of the hip. And then slowly coming back up. And press your heel away. Bringing, bringing both knees in, placing your hands onto your knees and start to make circles with your hips. So that should feel a little bit better now. We have opened the hips. Keep the feet flexed as you do this and then change direction. So I make my circle big so my hands are getting off my knees. That's okay. And then coming back to center. Open your arms in a T. This time, bring the, hip, bring the knees and the hips in one line, the heels and the knees also in one line. So lots of squares here. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, roll over to the right. So your knees are moving to the right, your left shoulder remains on the floor. Big twist in the spine, but we don't want to force anything. If you want, you can bring your right hand on your left thigh just to give it a little bit of weight but it's weight, it's not pushing, it's just weight. You can look towards your left hand, make sure your left shoulder remains on the floor. If not, bring your knees a little bit higher, put a pillow underneath your right knee so that you can keep the shoulder on the floor, so opening more into the chest. Every exhale, feel the release. And hear the birds. And then slowly bring the knees back to center. Stay here for one breath. Realign the knees above the hips, the heels in line with the knees, opening up. And then exhale and bring the knees towards the left. So again, your choice to bring the left hand onto your right thigh, keeping the right shoulder on the floor. Maybe you want to look to the right. Very slowly coming back to center. Bring the knees one more time into the chest, lifting your head, lifting your shoulders. So, not use too much force here, just 
taking a breath in so you should still be able to breathe and a breath out inhaling and then as you exhale extend your legs to each corner bring your arms alongside your body not too close not too far just find that comfort for your shoulders taking a breath in and a breath As you exhale, allow your body to rest onto the floor. Trust that the earth is going to hold you. Whatever is tense now, whatever is holding you now, is or a result from the movements with it, or from stress or holding on. So see if you can let that go. It's not easy. I'm not saying that's easy. But just being conscious from where does this tension come? Sometimes it's also because we have an injury and we're holding on because we don't want to hurt ourselves. So see if you can, with, with some blankets or something, find a place where you can let go so that your nervous system can also balance itself between the being on alert against an eventual pain that might pop up and being relaxed and restored. And slowly start to reconnect with your breath. So just feeling the air coming in and coming out. And then taking a little bit deeper inhale and a longer exhale. Bring the legs a little bit closer to each other, starting to move the toes, the fingers, the nose, the smile will activate all the muscles on your face. And then taking a deep breath in and stretch yourself up, press your heels away, so as if you were standing on the floor, and then stretch out your arms overhead, creating a lot of space into your chest, into your belly, into your legs, into your hips, and then as you exhale, bring the knees into the chest. And then roll over to the right side or the left, whatever is more comfortable, making a pillow with your right arm. Your left hand is gently resting on the floor. And then from here, gently pressing with your left hand into the floor, Extend your left leg as a weight and then push yourself up, keep your head heavy, and then coming up into a comfortable seat position. Keeping the spine long, bring the hands in front of your heart. Tuck your chin gently. Thank you so much for sharing your time, your practice, and your energy. I wish you all a wonderful day filled with love, filled with kindness, and filled with peace. Namaste.